Hey guys, and welcome to a little weird episode of Federico Talks Watches. I'm coming to you from my hotel room in the center of Madrid. Uh, I'm here to visit family. I'm Italian, but I did grow up in Madrid as a child and I have family here. Uh, I'm going to be gone for a couple weeks, but I wanted to talk to you about an interesting subject. How I traveled with $65,000 of watches and actually fell in love with another watch in Madrid. Now guys, let me just apologize for the audio or video. This is being shot on an iPhone and the lighting is not ideal. Anyway guys, yeah, I traveled with three watches in my watch roll. People ask me all the time, Federico, is it safe to travel with watches? Yes it is and I'm gonna show you how. Now of course, before we get started, don't forget to check out DelrayWatch.com. We have in a new, uh, sorry, in a new to the website, Explorer 2 Black, previous generation, an unworn Air King box and papers, and a pre Voodalinen Urban Jurgensen. And if you order it in the next day or two, it should arrive before Christmas. All that and more at DelrayWatch.com, link in the description below. So yeah. I figured I'd tell you what I traveled with, why, and uh, why it is safe. So, of course, the first watch is my green dial Moser Pioneer. I use this during the day. Uh, it's a sports watch, but, you know, the leather makes it a little bit more formal. Now, I put two other watches in my custom-made ostrich case. Shout out to uh, Combat Straps, Aaron, for making this. And if I open it up... Uh, FTW, Federico Talks Watches, I brought a couple of more watches with me. I brought my H. Moser Aventurine Perpetual Moon with the uh, sparkly dial, very hard to see in this light, uh, and this is my evening watch, or Christmas Eve, sometime where I get to dress up, I'll put this on, and it makes the occasion more special. Now this one is probably worth, let's say, 12000 this one in the current market is worth about 40, so we're already at 52. And then here is my sports watch, my Piaget Polo 45 Flyback Chronograph GMT. So GMT function for traveling, six hours difference where I am. Something a little sportier, I can wear it on the plane. Chronograph, and this one is probably worth around 12,000 roughly as well. So we're at 64,000 dollars between these three watches. I have all my bases covered between dress, uh, casual, and a dressier casual as well. I have a GMT function, all things I love and packaged well in a carrying case. Now, you have to ask your insurance. Now, I have insurance through Delray Watch. I'm also personally covered, but you can insure your watches and ask them what their travel policy is. Generally, they're going to ask you what hotel you're staying at, and depending on the hotel, you either are and the amount of watches, you're either able to leave it in the room safe, or most four to five star hotels have a safe in the concierge where you have to sign in and sign things out. Ask your insurance which way you should do it. Now, I'm not going to tell you how I do it here, uh, just for security purposes, but I've done both depending on the amount. Hotel room safe or downstairs in the concierge safe, and I just go sign out the watch I want to wear for the day. Now, of course, I'm insured. I wouldn't want to have anything stolen from me, especially this one, considering uh, it's only one of 50 made. So it's very hard to replace, but always make sure you're insured. Now, through TSA, you can also request a private screening. Tell them, guys, I have uh, an expense, I have, you know, pull them apart. I have jewelry or expensive watches in the bag. They will give you a private screening and keep an eye on your carry-on for you. You never, ever, ever want to check anything expensive, anything of value, apart from maybe an expensive piece of clothing, but watches, uh, gold jewelry, cash, never check that. Um, also, know where you're traveling to. Madrid is on the safer side. I also know the city extremely well, so I'm not worried at all. Anyway, that is how uh, I traveled with about $65,000 worth of watches and why I picked the watches I picked. And actually, whoop, little notification on my phone. And actually, while uh, on Calle Serrano today, which is like the fancy schmancy uh, shopping street, I walked into a Chopard boutique. Now, I know not everybody's a fan of Chopard, but I love the LUC and I fell in love with the Chopard 
L-U-C, Traveler. Now, I know I can get a discount, and I know I can get VAT back, uh, being that I don't live in Europe, but I've deemed that that price I can still get better, uh, that piece I can still get a better price through my own connection. So I won't be buying it here, but I did fall in love with that World Time watch. I find it uh, extremely handsome, and of course, LUC by Chopard is very, very well made and undervalued. So if I sell it, I may lose right now, um, but I don't intend to really uh, sell it, and it's something cool that I can add to the collection. Anyway, guys, just a shorter little video from here in Madrid. I wanted to check in. I wanted to say what's up, maybe give you a little bit of content that you might find useful if you are traveling. And more importantly, I wanted to wish everybody a happy holidays, happy New Year's, and thank you so much for sticking with us at Federico Talks Watches and at Delray Watch. May shoot another video or so. If not, I'll be back in the first week of January. Guys, thank you so much, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.